what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A mail carrier in West Virginia has pleaded guilty to election fraud after trying to change the party affiliation of several ballots from Democrat to dun, 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 Republican. Thomas Cooper, who was charged in May, pled guilty Thursday for attempt to defraud the residents of West Virginia of a fair election and one count of injury to the mail, a statement from the Department of Justice said. Cooper delivered letters to Inigo, Riverton, and Franklin, West Virginia, all of which are in Pendleton County. According to a statement back in May, a county clerk found that five ballots' party affiliations had been changed from Democrat to Republican, and three other ballots' requests had been altered, but their affiliation had not been changed. Cooper said he did it as a dun-dun-dun joke. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, I'm going to go out here and commit a federal offense as a joke. Now, y'all don't take it too serious uh, because uh, I'm just playing. What if somebody, boom, bust them in the face as a joke? That would be something, huh? Family, is anybody wondering why we haven't heard about this on Fox News? Why aren't they talking about this on Breitbart? Why? I'm, I'm looking for it. I was looking for it in the Daily Mail. No, they're not talking about it. Here's the deal, fam. I think we all know that the Republicans, the GOP, cannot win without incredible voter fraud and gerrymandering. It can't happen. They don't have enough people who think that backwards. There's a lot of them now, don't get me wrong. It's a whole, it's more of them than I thought. I just, it's way more than I thought. I had no idea that people were still so antiquated. You know, I had no idea, fam. I thought we were making progress. And I assume that we are. Some people have made pro progress. Most of us who are civilized have made, well, all of us who are civilized have made some progress. But there are so many, I mean, and it's millions. They're just holding on for their, their life. Please don't take the Confederacy. It's all I have to make me feel superior. They be holding on to it, boy. They ain't got nothing else going. Personality, character, values, morals, principles, nothing. Looks, nothing. You ever notice how most of them look the same? They all kind of look homey-like and dirty. You know, unkept, you know, just kind of like some people that hide behind society, you know, like the people you don't show, you know, it's like they're, it's like they're raised somewhere like in the mountains, you know, people you don't really see every day, you know, and you didn't even know that they were there. Nobody talks about them. And they just come out of nowhere. You, oh my God, the hell is that? It's a white supremacist. <laughs> it's just it's funny to me, man. You know, look, look, look. Sometimes you, you got to laugh to stop from crying, man. And it, it's sad. It's sad. But this voter fraud thing has always gone on and it's going to continue to go on. And you know, what can you do? What can you do but, you know, try to do the best that you can do? And that's it. But voter fraud is going to happen whether it be uh, via mail or electronically. It is very hard to stop voter fraud. 
when you're dealing with human beings, you're dealing with those human beings who have certain convictions. They have a certain type of mentality. And so if that person falls in the category of a Republican, they'll probably sway toward doing something that can benefit them. Same thing on the Democratic side. It's all about the risk that they're willing to take. So I know for a fact Trump couldn't have won without cheating. He had to collude. No way possible. Now, he got some votes and stuff. Yeah, yes, he, he, he did get votes. But there is no way he did that without cheating. Just like when Bush won. There's no way he could have uh, won without cheating to win Florida. No way possible. I think that what we have here, fam, is a situation. It's a situation that at the end of the day is going to favor Thomas Cooper no matter what. Because Thomas Cooper has an ace in the hole. He has a trump card. The orange man, the tangerine tornado. I predict if Thomas Cooper has to do time. He's up for eight years. He can get up to eight years. If that happens, if he gets any kind of time, if he gets probation, which he's not going to get away unscathed, so he's going to get something. And I suspect that Trump will pardon him because that's what clowns do. No more talk. What the haters talking about?